Hello, hello, welcome to another video. Today we have this, um, unfortunate little creature. Um, yeah, it's, it's a robot, technically, but, um, it's not in great condition, so I'm gonna put it out of its misery and, uh, salvage it for parts, as I do. Uh, let's see where to start. I'm gonna go ahead and get the base separated so I can get this all in one shot. Alright, we've now got it in halves. Um, slower base, probably where I'll get the best parts, because motors. But the top might have some things that are interesting. So this um, doesn't have any screws. Interesting. I've had this for a long time, so it's possible I took out the screws, but I, I don't know at this point. So. I'm not entirely sure what's holding it together. Uh, it might just be clips, so I'm going to keep going with popping it open. Eh, maybe not. I wonder if I can take the, the, uh, these wheel caps off. There's little three, these little divots. So. Okay, yep. There we go. Okay. There's the screw. Let's get the other two caps off and I'll remove the uh, screws. This is one of the bigger things I've taken apart, so it's a little difficult to keep it on camera. There we go. Oh, shoot. Everything went everywhere. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Looks like we've got... More screws. That's that's fine. That's, that's interesting. Oh, they're uh, they're rollers to keep it center. That's cool. I think I got this thing for like twenty bucks on eBay, something like that. Unscrewing is the most fun part, of it, especially when there's so many. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this off camera. Alright, there's the screws gone. We'll just come apart now. Yeah, alright. Oh, this is some decent sized motors, actually. It's not too bad. But, there are some interesting nuances here, so I would like to explore that. Namely, these, on, their, on the other side, also it goes into a gearbox, and then there's a little circuit board, and Yep, sensor. Okay. So it actually knows how much the motor has turned. Which makes this, uh, servo. Oh my god. Anyways. Servo motors. Um, they're typically those boxy enclosed things. 
Well, what makes a servo motor a servo motor is the sensor that keeps track of where it is. Um, it can only know where it is while powered, but yeah. They're not the most precise because it's not like a stepper motor which has, you know, those precise exact steps. But it's pretty good. I'm not sure why it needs the sensor, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna get the motors out of their place. I'm gonna do that off camera again, so I'll be right back. Alright, here we are. All taken out. Um, the, I mean, since they have it gearbox there, especially circuit motors, they usually have them. But yeah, three whole servo motors. Even if they don't look like your typical servo motor, but they are by function and definition, even if, you know, they look a little different. Um, and these will be way more powerful than those little blue ones. Frankly, this is a pretty overpowered for how small the robot is. Uh, it's a pretty small gearbox, so it's probably not that big of a conversion. It's probably not that much torque. But still. Oh, there's really tiny screws. Holy crap. I've got screws that small, but still, wow. Um, I, uh, either way, I'm going to keep them um, in check. Also, it's weird that they've got two sets. There's normally only three, um, since they tend to share a common ground, but I've got data and power. And there's a little circuit board for the motor there. That's interesting. Anyways, put these to the side for the final part count and move on to the main body. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, de-screw it and I will be back. Alright, well, I've got it uh, decapitated, although the nerves are still there. So, something these ears are very well attached for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Uh, anyways, the rest of the lower second sec section is just a whole bunch of circuitry and wires, so not particularly interested in all of that, so I'm gonna just go ahead and remove it. Ooh. The little connector's not looking so good. So whatever. Come on. Oh my god, finally. World's strongest cable for literally no reason. <laughs> That. And another one. Okay, that came pretty good. Alright. So, that's whatever. The head. This is what I'm really interested in. There's gotta be some way to get in, huh? Okay, let's maybe holding it together. I don't know. I don't know what else could be. I mean, other than springs. There's a bunch of springs that I saw. I don't think they actually 
serve any sort of integrity purpose. Okay, well now that it's removed, it's just too tall to actually get out, so that's fantastic. I don't want to brute force it, I don't want to, don't want to break it, but... So I wonder what this swirly thing is. Or why the top. It's also this little bit. Which goes in there. I, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Oh, it's a lamp. Okay. Um, maybe the springs are holding it together. Okay, well, it's out enough. Oh, what was that? Oh, there's another one here. It's all very interesting. Wondering if this, like, this has to rotate, right? Otherwise, why be in this shape? Oh. Okay, yep, I can hear a motor. Just got heavy, uh, heavy gear ratio, uh, but I'm guessing that pops the little lamp thing up and down. Let's see. That would... Ah, okay. That would ride in there. Cool. One more screw. Oh, yep, there's also a screw here. Oh my goodness. Infinite screws. This is so much more complicated. So much, so much happening, so many wires, so many little bits and bobs, it's very interesting. Okay, got a spring here, is it the ear spring? Yes it is, let's get rid of this, somehow, maybe, possibly. Myself. It's just part of the routine. There we go. Come on. Uh, great. The wires. A lot of these built-in grooves all over the robot. It's very tightly fit, despite there being so much space, so much room. Oh, sensor. So it's another servo. Okay, that um, does make sense given. We have you know, an on-off sort of thing. 
right. Ah, there we go. And then there's... I don't know how to get this open. Like to get into the ear. Just to at least see what the heck is inside. I can see a circuit board from this side, but that's all I know. Maybe. Are those speakers hardwired in? They're not speaker. Microphone. Okay. We get the circuit board out. The eyes are just LEDs. A lot of sensors in this, but no. No eyes. It's got freaking ears, but. I mean, I guess eyes are, like, the most complicated kind of sensor. Camera, chromatic, whatever kind you have. Just, just barely see the motor. like opening the top also pops out the ears. It goes up and down, both part of the mechanism. Okay. Interesting. The plastic just kind of glued in there. Oh my god, finally. Okay, hold on. That's all mechanisms, so... Okay, I haven't broken the gearbox. Is though it's probably because of that. Let me get that off. Okay. This is a strange model. So it looks like a small motor in there, and then this is all the gearbox. It's pretty uh, heavily geared. It's pretty slow, so. Definitely don't need a large motor for making the head lift. But, uh, yeah, alright. It's not really a stepper motor without the sensor. But, yeah, whatever. All of this I can do aside. Oops. Except for oh, no. there we go. Okay. Let me get rid of all this and all uh take a look at the ear earologist. Try to get it up and off camera, maybe. 
we'll see. All right, well, that's a little disappointing. It is just an LED, so it's not actually a sensor. Uh, whatever. All right, so final haul, we have three servos, a smaller geared motor, and I'll take the spring, because why not? Anyways, that's the video. Definitely one of my longer dismantling videos. It's not the longest one yet. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have an excellent day. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 you know, YouTuber stuff. Goodbye.